Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Ricochet playing Marvel Puzzle Quest, and this should be a good bunch of action in the introducing Misty Knight event. It's the brand new four star character where we have to play as her against opponents. We have to play opponents against her, and uh, everything's new. So let's jump into the action. Thanks for coming in from our token video, and if you uh, if you haven't seen that yet or didn't come from that that should be presented as a link later in this video can jump to our 100 plus token draws before we got to this point all right in introducing misty knight we have to play about five different battles and you know what we're gonna have some fun here taking her on in the first one let's check it out coming out come out swinging misty knight arrived on the scene when she first fought iron fist the two quickly realized they were on the same side and vowed to work together. Let's check her out and see if we can beat her with the Iron Fist. I don't think I should use my four star who is a maximum champion. Let's go down to our let's go down to a lower level Iron Fist. I think we're still gonna do quite well, mostly due to that continuous attack tile that we get. We'll see how it goes though, because she creates a lot of attack tiles. On top of that, she has a very strong green ability, and we have to watch out for her yellow and blue. Let's just jump into it, and then uh, we, have a, we have a lot to talk about her abilities and a lot of uh, battles in which to do that. So, Iron Fist has a uh, very inexpensive purple. I'm sure most of you guys know about that. And it either builds up a whole bunch of black tiles on the board, fueling up his other abilities, or... If he already has, if you already have 12 black AP on your team, his purple will do a really strong punch. Let's see if there's any chance we can get 12 black AP before that. I mean, the chances are going to be tough to get that done in time. So she's building up toward her blue. And I'd like to get my green played if uh, if we can. So we'll see who gets green first. Her green ability is uh, very much her strongest ability. I guess we could check it out a little bit here. But uh, Bionic Beatdown is pretty cool. It does a bunch of damage to the target. And then the opportunity for a bunch of additional damage based on how many fortified tiles are on the board. And it doesn't say friendly fortified tiles. It could also mean enemy fortifieds. So Missy's going to fit in on a lot of teams that uh, that uh, either go against fortified tile makers or you uh, have an, a, a way to make them fortified on your own team. So if she doesn't get her yellow or blue played in time, we're going to be able to take her out. We have nine black already and nine purple. I'd like to get one more purple match before this thing's over. Is there any way to do that? Probably not. Maybe we'll do it now. Let's go ahead and play Iron Fist of Kun Lun or Kun Lun. I always uh, correct me in the comments on the exact pronunciation of that one. I've gone back and forth on what I thought it is a bunch of times. And we are up to 12 black, but we just don't have a purple or a green match to make. She's got her yellow ready to play. Let's make sure I kept the animations on from before. I did, so she's gonna play her yellow. Ah, oh, very cool. So that adds her strongest color to the board. And obviously that's going to be green. She didn't get an automatic green match, thankfully enough for my team. I think we're going to win this one pretty easily. She's got six blue. It's an inexpensive blue that she has. We qualified our purple and green now. Very nice. See how it placed the attack tiles all on one row. Because there happened to be a lot of... That's interesting. In You want to really pick a row where you have a lot of your team's strongest color and the enemy team's strongest color. So she picked a row that wasn't great. 
the computer, the AI, isn't always gonna do that great of a job. And for that, we are going to win with a nice Iron Fist punch. Cool, okay, I think that was pretty fun. Now I'm looking forward to the next match where we get to use Misty Knight on our team against uh, some Magia Dune, uh, goons, I guess you wanna call them, minions. All right, so we're gonna play Misty Knight at level 270. That is a nice representation. Uh, we could play the one that I just rostered and got up to level 120. You know what, I didn't actually raise her level when we got her rostered so let's check it out she's uh, level 70 initially of course and yet we can only add 10,200 we'll do it I don't think we're gonna play this version since she's, o she's only at 111 but good to get her leveled up nonetheless let's go for the 270 and we get to use an Iron Man so the uh, story is Iron Man worked with the um, worked with the tech on her bionic arm and uh, made of adamantium, so that's a pretty big deal. I, I suppose we'll go with the three-star, three-star Iron Man in this case. No, actually, let's bring on Hulkbuster. He's uh, overpowered for this matchup, but if we can play his black, that might be kind of fun to do that before Misty's yellow or blue. So, um, yeah, let's boost, let's boost black. Yellow, I guess we'll boost it all. Let's see if we can win this way. All right. Not sure who to take on first. I imagine we'll try to take a couple of the muscles out directly. Nice drop there. And then we'll save our big shot from Misty's green for the Dawn. He's got a little bit more health that way. Set us up with the match four in black. The reason I thought we'd bring Hulkbuster along is because his black ability can create some relatively strong strike tiles. And yeah, we better get yellow going for Misty as well. And don't forget, she can fortify your team's special tiles, not just her own attack tiles. And we have blue ready to go. I just want to get yellow. What can we do here? I don't think we can line up yellow that way. Um, isn't it helpful I didn't tell you what way I was thinking? But we do have our black to play already, interestingly enough. Okay, things are starting to get really dangerous, and I want to qualify our yellow. Nice. Alright, so I think things are looking really well. We can play all of our abilities, and Misty's got an, an interesting setup here. So green is her strongest ability with Bionic Beatdown, but you get extra damage based on how many fortified tiles are on the board. Well, green doesn't do the fortification, her yellow and blue do. So let's look at Saturday Night Specialist, where it uh, will change tiles to your team's strongest color on the board, and then also fortify special tiles. Well, let's play our other abilities to get some special tiles on the board, and that can be with This Is Control. This is where she will place attack tiles on a row that you choose, and the, um, the attack tiles placed on, um, I may have explained her yellow a little bit wrong, but we'll see it in a second. Uh, so we'll get attack tiles based on our team's strongest color and the enemy team's strongest color. Ours is red, theirs is yellow. So what row would have a lot of red and yellow available tiles to be converted into attack tiles? Not a lot going on with yellow. In fact, there's really not too great of a row that has both of those colors right now unfortunately so let's just do this let's just pick a spot like say well we want to do Hulkbusters overdrive first let's see where we get strike tiles okay on yellow yeah that might not have been the best setup because we wanted to convert yellow tiles into attack tiles no big deal 
Let's go now for Misty's yellow on converting. Okay, and fortified those. Great. We'll go with her blue, and then let's just choose maybe this row has a lot of red. And look at that. Perfect. We got a whole bunch of attack tiles on our team's strongest color. Now we have um, increased strength on those special tiles. I think everything's working out pretty well. We can play blue again. Let's go for it here. And now this time maybe we'll choose this row. We'll hopefully get that yellow. Nice. Okay, lots of attack tiles. Now with all of those special tiles and the fortifieds, we're going to get a bunch of damage from Bionic Beatdown. Cool. So we took out the Dawn in one shot, and that's great. Let's see how much uh, damage we get from our attacks. And it's over. Okay, I guess things worked out all right. That is a lot of attack tiles on a single row if you play those abilities in the correct order. Not sure I did it exactly right, but we're trying to learn Misty Knight as we go here. This should be another fun one. We're going to take on Prowler, Nightwing Restorations, working alongside her best friend, her best friend Colleen Wing. Misty Knight hunted down villains on the loose in New York City as a Bale Bondswoman. So taking on Prowler might be really interesting here for a couple of reasons, because he will automatically fortify enemy special tiles, meaning if we create some attack tiles, he will fortify them for us. On the flip side though, if he does match attack tiles of, that we have that are fortified, he will steal them and increase their value That'll be dangerous. So um, there's a lot of yellow on the board. He doesn't even specialize in yellow. His abilities are black, blue, and uh, passive purple. So we really only have to worry about black and blue a little bit. Misty's um, got yellow all over the place. How should we do this? Maybe we'll go... I think we'll get the rest of that. Let's do this yellow that sets up another yellow. Right, okay. Yellow that takes a little bit of black away from him. Okay. And then we have another yellow that drops more. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So I think we really want to try to get blue now before we play yellow. Not that you have to, but I think it just seems like it's the most strategic play. If it starts to take too long, uh, we might change shift gears on our on our strategy. Um, that's okay. There are two tons of yellow. Didn't want to give him blue. Prowler's blue is really quite good. A bit expensive. Yellow drops a four shot of green here. All right, so we finally get our blue qualified. And he's got black ready to play. He's gonna, yeah, we better act quickly. He's going to play his black, which also sends him invisible for a couple of turns after placing strike tiles for both teams. Now, since he plays them for both teams, we're going to get some strike tiles, like just two, out of this deal. What's the best time frame to play our abilities? We probably want to go with... Um, yeah, let's see. Green and purple. Green's our strongest. Purple is his. There's not a lot of... Yeah, this is a pretty good row right here. Let's go ahead and start it. Where There's two green, two purple. Very nice. So we got uh, a good amount of attack tiles right away. Let's uh, play yellow a bunch of times in a row here. Try to get some automatic matches in green. Maybe we'll get one right here. 
We did get a free match in green, and guys, it's perfect. I know he was getting pretty low, and our attack tiles are already up uh, well, well over 200, but he was just about to go invisible, but not in time for a bionic beatdown, and I think our timing worked out really well on that one. Cool. We have Misty Knight shards coming up. Just a tiny fraction of shards we get for doing this, but it's more of the introduction than anything. I think they could probably offer more than 5 plus 10 shards for a brand new 4 star in the introducing event, but we do get more in the Welcome to Shield event. So it's cool that we get both events, and so I don't want to complain a whole lot. Civil War, so we have to uh, take on... Some more minions. During Marvel Civil War, Misty Knight was put in charge of Heroes for Hire by Iron Man. She gathered a team of unlikely heroes and created a network of trusted allies. There we go. So we get to play this battle with some of the defenders. And now we already played with our three-star Iron Fist. Let's get our... Uh, let's get the system provided four star iron fist i think he'll be fun to play with he's just level 200 boosted up further than that at four four five layout not bad and our loot cage is overkill at 363 let's also use the system uh available version and make sure we have a nice misty night let's go for it wow look at that we have a blue extra move ready to go and the critical tile is going to hit those uh, nice match in reds for a bunch of damage. I think we probably want to target the Shinobi first, and then um, the Thugs will be easy to take care of after that, I believe. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Probably go for our attack tiles from Misty more than anything, although... Iron Fist can create strike tiles with his blue as opposed to Misty's blue. We'll we'll try to feature her her abilities primarily. Get a blue there. Lucky green. All right. Go for yellow. Four star Luke Cage has a strong hitting yellow, especially if you already have some fortified tiles on the board. If you don't have them fortified yet, his yellow will fortify them. But um, if you can play his yellow twice in a row, it's very often just a huge knockout blow. Well, I don't see any way to get more yellow. I think this is going to be tough to do that in this match. We can start with blue, and that's fine. Blue, again, is going to convert the um, enemy team's strongest color... Well, green and red. Ours is green, of course. Red is theirs to get a bunch of attack tiles. Let's look this through here. There's, um, I'm going to match green, so let's go for this row here where we won't be putting attack tiles in the line of being matched away. A little bit of damage. Very nice. Okay, that's a good set of attack tiles. Let's, uh, we want to get that green and red, but let's do this first. Maybe we'll shake up the board for some yellow. Not really. I suppose we'll go for this one here. Nice. That's a lot of attack tiles. Let's see how much damage we start getting from those. Alright, which thug has the countdown at 1? It is this guy, the weaker one. That's okay, let's take him out with the bionic beatdown. Removes our fortifications, but that's okay. We'll get more, black, more back here from either a blue match, or if we can find a way to get yellow. Finally, we can get a yellow match.
adds green to the board, fortifies some specials, and improves our, our look at that, 1,200 in protectiles and uh, 400 plus in attacks. Let's go ahead and finish this one with a nice big hit from Bunch of Fiddle Faddle. It does a, a good amount of damage, but if the enemy doesn't have any actual special tiles, strike attack or protectiles, it does a ton of damage, and that is nice defender team. I didn't mention the uh, other perk with the healing from Misty Knight. If you match fortified tiles, or if they're destroyed, and uh, if any that when you do that, you heal your allies. But if they are defenders, it also heals Misty herself. So that's kind of a nice deal if there happens to be fortified tiles all over the board, and that leads into the next team. I think he's going to be a lot of fun. This one is called Heroes for Hire. Misty Knight's network of heroes for hire kept all manner of villains off New York streets. Uh, from the ninjas of the, of the hand to the beasts of the savage land. Sorry, sometimes it's hard for me to read that because I have the brightness set up so high when I record. And so, let's see. I thought for a, a little bit we were going to play a couple of different teammates but this is a uh, wide open to any um any use from your roster and since that's the case let's grab some some tile fortification characters that uh, can really help misty excel i believe in this one let's grab do they have to be let's see yeah let's do this i think this will be fun to go for bring along Shuri. Her red ability for fortification is just awesome. And you know what? I'm going to change my mind here. Let's go back and grab... There he is. I was looking for, for a green goblin. He's blocked out due to being a villain in this case. I get it. He has a really nice fort automatic fortification of his countdown tiles. So let's go back up here and instead we'll grab a five-star Hawkeye who can fortify his own countdowns. We'll see if we get any use out of that. Okay. This one should be pretty easy. We have uh, really low health enemies. Let's see what we can do here. Match four in red. Is there a way to get more than those four? I thought there might be a way to get the six, but we'll just do it this way. And let's go with Look at that. We already got lucky with our red and this is so great because that reduces the cost of our other abilities big time when we get that to happen. So let's play Vibranium Virtuoso. It'll create five random fortified tiles on the board. If we had any special tiles, it would automatically fortify them nicely. But when that happens, when you have all those fortifieds on the board, your costs of your abilities are decreased by three. It's actually quite crazy. So let's play this as control for a cost of three on a row where there are purple and red, or at least a bunch of purple. Or should we wait around? Maybe we should... Let's go ahead and do it here. We can actually, we can play it twice. I also want to pick one that we're not going to do a match within right away. And uh, that would cause us to remove the fortification if we did. All right, so wave two of three has now popped up and we have the new uh, aim bots up to take care of. Gotcha. Let's go for a shot here, maybe. The enemy team's strongest color is different now. Or is it still red? Oh, it is. Great. Okay, and it's purple on our team because of Hawkeye, by the way. And now that we have all this going on, we can play yellow. And if we do get matches in our uh, team strongest color being purple... A lot of them are fortified, so that could give us a health burst for our team. Might be kind of fun. 
free matches are always good. More fortifications. This is uh, this is fun. This is adding up quite quickly. Let's see if we can get more yellow, a purple match here for a health boost. We haven't really taken any damage for the health boost to matter. Every turn while we have five or more fortified tiles on the board, our costs are decreased big time. And look at that. We are up against a pretty much boss level devil dinosaur. I didn't know that was going to be the... Going to be the case here, and so what do we do? We've got it. We probably want to go for our green matches now, and there's a cool combo here. Let's go with um, green that drops three. Well, a bunch of fortified purples, a little more yellow. Very nice. This thing isn't going to last long at all. With those decreased costs, that just means free matches all over the place. And we can finish it with another Bionic Beatdown for the win. Very fun. All right. We are through the event and the Introducing Misty Knight event is over. We get the Heroic Token for the end and the 10 Shards. To add to our brand new character and that is already it very cool guys all right so hey i finished in uh, third place already probably one of the few that waited till the uh, fifth day to do was single node and that's gonna do it for this one let's see here all right so let me know what you guys thought about this event like i said and in the next one we are going to get into the welcome to shield event with misty knight and we get to play some really super boosted versions of her as a uh, um, high level four star character boosted up to crazy uh, amounts of health and damage should be a lot of fun and let me know what you guys also think about uh, splitting up the token draws and character levels into a part one video and then more of the action into a second main video if that works for you uh, let me know in the comments below by the way, we might get into Night Shift and play some PvP in the next video as well. That should be great. There is another video presented down below that YouTube thinks you'll carry on to. If it's a good one for you, please do. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it now and support the channel. Appreciate it. We're heading toward another 100 level, and uh, that support is just great, guys. Really appreciate it a lot. See you in the next one.